I've always wondered, why do people try to scare themselves? Is it some type of twisted curiosity? Or do people just enjoy the thrill of it? What would you do if you saw something you couldn't explain? Would you be curious or would you run away? I was still just a young lad when my parents got divorced. My aunt and uncle decided to take me in during that summer until my living conditions were more stable. I didn't mind this too much. I mean, all I had to do was to adjust to my new way of life. I had my own room in the corner of the house. It had a large window which gave me a quite nice view. I got my belongings into the room and each time I passed by the hall. I had noticed there was an extra room. As a curious ten-year-old, I couldn't help but to explore. I entered this hidden room, and there I saw an old, battered, grand piano. It could be described as disintegrating. The flaking, unpolished wood, and the indentations of damage. My uncle used to be a pianist, and often he would want to teach me a few different scores. He was the one person who got me into music. I assumed this was an old piano of his. But now that I think about it, the whole room looked worn down and decrepit, like nobody had been there for years. The walls were tattered, and the paint peeled off. There were cobwebs all over the place. But what I was most interested in was the piano. Before I got to touch it, my uncle had walked into the room. He told me he didn't really want people to be in there. It held a special importance to him, I'd assume. The piano room had really piqued my interest. But I listened to my uncle and didn't go into the room anymore. That was till the night when I heard a peculiar sound, sort of like a shuffling. This was just like any other night, nothing creepy I mean. The moon was shining bright and illuminating through the dark house. I found how to sleep, I just had to know what the sound was. I got out of my bed and walked out of the room, and there I could now hear the sound the piano. My first thought was my uncle was playing his piano, but it was quite late, and remembering how the room had looked like, it didn't make any sense that he would be using it. Soon enough, I could recognize the song which was being played. It sounded like a version of Moonlight Sonata. But the rhythm had suddenly changed. It became a different score altogether. Remembering what my uncle told me, I decided to ignore the piano and leave it alone. I took myself to sleep and I woke the next morning to the center of breakfast. But to get to the kitchen, I would have to pass by that room again. I decided to take a peek into the room, hoping not to get caught and it looked like the piano had been untouched. The dust and the cobwebs were still there. Nobody has been in that room. It may have just been my imagination running wild, I thought. I waited till nightfall to test my judgement, and I tried to keep myself awake. The clock struck twelve. I was about to give up and fall asleep, till it started once more. Only this song was different this time. I opened the door and I could smell the scent of the night. I snuck quietly into the hall and this time I decided to open the door to the piano room. My heart racing fast, unable to control myself, I built up a courage 
to burst the open the door and nothing. The song suddenly stopped as I walked into the darkness. And suddenly there was a loud <laughs> Was that my uncle? Did he did he know that I was in the awake and in the room? I didn't like the thought of it, and I raced back to my bed. I had to know if this was real or all in my head, though. The next day, there was a large storm outside. My aunt and uncle were driving back, but they were caught in the storm. And so they would stay at the hotel for the night. They called and said they left food for me in the fridge. But that was not my concern. Tonight, I would be alone. It was a very windy night, and looking out the window, I could see all the wreckage that the storm had caused. Then I heard the music again. This time, it was a, a sort of sad, mellow song. It calmed me. It calmed me down a bit. Maybe this ghost or this entity wasn't something malicious and evil. It was hard to explain how I felt, but I just had to know what this was. I walked down the hallway. It felt like the walls were rising around me when I slowly approached the door. I cautiously entered the piano room, and then, this time, there was a young man sitting there. He had dark, spiked hair. His skin was very pale. His eyes were sunken and dark. The man looked at me and spoke with a deep voice. He got up from the stool and moved towards me. His movements were irregular and inhuman. He put his cold hand on my cheek and muttered, You should have listened. I slowly backed away to get out of there as fast as possible, and then I felt a sharp pain on the back of my head. I fell to the ground, my vision became blurry. But before I blacked out, I noticed another figure standing behind him. A tall, dark blue creature with some sort of tendrils protruding from his face. I awoke the next morning to my relatives and they were weeping. I soon found out why, because I had blood running down my face and like has been struck by something really hard and I had hand prints bloody hand prints all over my body like someone or something was trying to reach for me I took one last look into the room behind me and there was a hole in the wall wide enough for a human being to fit through. I never believed in the existence of ghosts until this day. I still wonder if it was something dead or something living. But there's one thing I'll never forget about that night. The words that the man spoke to me. He told me his name, and if you're wondering who this man was, well, I would tell you, but you are listening to his music at this very moment, and if you wish to know about the blue creature, well, that's where you're on your own. <laughs>